What? Hey, nice of you to join us. Either we ended up in a different place from last time, or it got a major remodel. Gaius must have used Maxwell's power to alter things here. Where's Leia? Where'd you go? I found another breach like the one we came through. Don't tell me you went in it. I did. It leads to Riza Maxia, so that's the wrong way. Then Gaius and Muse must be that way. This presents a dilemma. I assumed we would just be following the same path as last time. At your age, Rowan, never assume things will be easy. <laughs> well said. We have other dangers to contend with besides Gaius and Muse. Better keep our guard up. Let's go, everyone. Don't you think you should go home? Even just for a quick visit? Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll do it. And when Mila toots the horn, he climbs right on board. No, that's not... I was planning to do it anyway. Whatever. Gaius has been busy keeping order in Rashigal ever since Noctigal died. I wonder what's going on back at his old castle in Kanbalar. You sure you don't need to stop by Neakara for anything? Actually, it has been a while since I've shown my face around town. I wouldn't mind seeing how everyone's doing. Well, when we have a chance, let's make the trip. You don't want to pay Balin a visit? Why? Are you hoping to hear one of his humiliating stories about my past? The more you bring it up, the more curious we get. I could certainly eat. Then why not come to my house? I'm sure my dad's cooked up something. We should probably tell Prin about Agria. Yeah, that's the least we can do. I hope she's still at the medical school. Prin, I'm glad to see you're still here. By all rights, I shouldn't be. Not after I betrayed Rashigal to its enemy. But with the world as it is now, we're getting scores of injured patients every day. At the very least, I wanted to fulfill my obligations as a nurse. That is truly admirable. Fortunately, conflicts between the nations of Riza Maxia are the last thing on anyone's mind now. Yeah, especially now that Gaius is running Rashigal too. Yes. I talked to King Gaius myself recently. He told me that Miss Nadia was dead. So you knew? Yes. He was kind enough to tell me personally. I was shocked that he even knew I was Lady Nadia's lowly servant. That is most impressive. I'm sorry, Prin. I wish we could have done more to save her. You don't need to say that. To be honest, it was painful seeing Miss Nadia filled with such contempt. 
I know this may sound horrible for me to say this, but part of me is glad to know she's finally freed from her hatred, even if it's through death. I've seen her truly smile when she held Bobo. Seeing that made her usual misery all the harder to bear. Prin, I'm sorry. It's never easy, is it? Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. Where is everyone? They... they were besieged by a spirit. Muse attacked this village after you died. She did what? I'm so sorry. I couldn't do anything. Nor could I. In that regard, I am no better. Tell me the extent of the damage. Of course. So she killed the elders. I feared that she might. You did? They were the ones who had heard stories of the schism. Muse said her duty was to kill everyone who knew about it. But the elders only passed down stories. They had no idea that they were true. There was no reason to kill them over it. I think Muse has lost sight of what she needs to do. We have to stop her. That is my duty. I've been away for quite some time. Has anything significant happened here? Lord Maxwell, you've returned. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Ivor around lately. Do you know where he might be? Ivor? He must have run off somewhere without my permission again. That's probably because of me. Sorry about that. Hmm. I see. But I don't think that's something for you to apologize for. Indeed. It was the result of a showdown that needed to take place. Thank you. There's one more thing, Lord Maxwell. One of the young folk found this at the base of the Hollermont. It's a letter addressed to someone named Al. Al? That would be me. No one saw who might have left it? No, there was no sign of anyone at all. Go ahead. It sounds like it's for your eyes only. Dear, Dear Al. Al. I, I never, never expected, expected that, that you would return, return to, to me. me. As someone who has endured betrayal her whole life, to have my expectations betrayed so sweetly was, for once, a great kindness. But if you're reading this letter now, it means that in choosing to live my life as Pressa, I have chosen to betray you. I am truly sorry. Pressa. Alvin! Let's go. Press's team was wiped out because of information I acquired by deceiving her. And yet, the last thing she said was that she was worried about me. Me. The guy who cost her everything. Somehow she knew I would go back to you all. I can't believe it. You can stay here for as long as you need. But come back when you're ready. We'll wait for you. I'm going to keep at it. I'll protect all that you've given me. Goodbye, Jill. That was always my favorite name, you know.
Please, calm down. We need to deal with this rationally. Mom, what's going on? Jude, there's been a cave-in at the mine. What? But I thought the mine was closed. Not anymore. We thought we'd found a new vein, and we were just beginning to explore it. Was there anyone trapped inside? Well, one of our miners is trapped, and... And your father. Dr. Mathis? Jude, what should we do? We'll save them, of course. We're rounding up people to head to the mine right now. Wait, if you rush in there without knowing what caused the first cave-in, you could get caught in one too. We know it's dangerous, but we owe Dr. Mathis our lives. Which is why he wouldn't want you to waste them on a suicide mission. <sighs> First, we'll go check out what happened. Don't worry, I've been through that entire mine. Jude is right. Let us handle this. Okay, be careful in there. Quickly, to the Felgana mine! Please let Dad be okay. Fezabel Marsh? Wasn't that the site of a famous battle between Rashagal and Ajul? Yes. Twenty years ago. It's a place that looms large in my life. If we go there, I may remember things that are, perhaps, best forgotten. That's right. You were part of that war. I'm sorry. Dad! Jude, is that you? You've hurt your eyes. It's nothing. I just got some rock dust in them during the cave-in. Never mind me. He needs help. He's unconscious. It looks like he hit his head on a rock. Don't move him. There's internal bleeding in his brain. Fortunately, the cave-in wasn't too big. Gnome says it won't collapse further. Got it. Leia, head back to the clinic and get ready to receive the patient. What about you? I'm going to treat him using healer. It's dangerous to move him like this. You're going to try and stop cranial bleeding with healer? If you make a mistake, you'll kill him instantly. I know, but I have to do it. Oh, if only I could see properly. It's okay. This is my decision to make. Jude. We'll leave him in Jude's hands. Leia, get to town as soon as you can. On my way! All right, here we go. The miner's condition is stabilized. And it looks like I can see again. Oh, I was really on pins and needles there. The miner said to thank you for saving him. You did well, Jude. Oh, no, I didn't do anything special. You all have things you need to do. You shouldn't be wasting any more time here. Jeez, Doc. Don't get all sentimental or anything. I'm afraid we'll be taking Jude with us again. You don't need to ask my permission. He can make his own decisions now. Jude, your judgment was absolutely correct. Dad. Take care. He's changed, hasn't he? Ah, he just learned to do what he should have already been doing. You said the same thing when he first learned how to walk and talk. And you look just as proud then as you do now. Of course. Who wouldn't be proud to see their child grow? What did you lose? 
It was, um, kind of like a notebook. I gotta go pick it up. Fine, let's go take a look when we get the chance. How is she, Doc? My sister will be able to walk again someday, right? Right? Calm down, Soren. To cut to the point, yes. If Marna has surgery, she'll be able to walk again. Really? All right! The problem is the post-surgical recovery. She will require extensive physical therapy. Will it hurt? Enough to make even a grown-up cry. That's not what I heard. They said you could use some sort of machine to make her walk again. I don't know where you heard that. No such machine exists. Don't worry! I know you can get through it! I was hurt badly when I was a kid, too. But thanks to Dr. Mathis' physical therapy, I'm as good as new! Really? Yep. And don't I look great now? If I do say so myself. If anything, she's got too much energy. Leia told me how hard her physical therapy was. Yeah. That's why she's so happy to help someone else through it. Do you know how Leia got hurt? Not really. She told me it was a Spyrex explosion. The physical therapy really was extraordinarily hard. But Leia never gave up. You know, she told me it was you that... Uh... Hmm? Never mind. That was just... Girl talk. Dr. Mathis may seem like kind of a jerk, but he's a great doctor. Believe in him and work hard. <sighs> Jude, if you're back in town, why not rest here a bit? Your mother will be thrilled. I see. So that's what those kids from this afternoon came here for. So, what are you going to do? Nothing. I disposed of them in the old Vicol mine. I won't ever let that tragedy happen again. It's not your fault, Doc. After all, you saved her life. At the old Vicol mine, huh? You need help with anything? It's nothing. Is something wrong? We haven't seen Soren all day. He's not one to leave his sister's side. Maybe we should look for him. Wait a minute. Do you know where he is? Last night he said something about the old Vakal mine. What? That place is infested with monsters! Are you sure that's where he went? No, I'm not but we can't ignore the possibility that he did. We gotta get to the old Bacall mine. That roast chicken looks amazing. Just looking at it is making me salivate. Sorry, Mila, but you can't have any. I'm sure it's for someone's birthday. How can you tell? Here on the island, it's a tradition to celebrate one's birthday with our special chicken Laurent. The chicken is stuffed with pilaf, which mixes with the chicken's juices, and it's just delicious. Oh, I'm drowning in my own saliva just thinking about it. It must be a very special dish to the people of Lorond. Then you must have eaten this on your birthdays as well. Yeah, a long time ago. Not recently? Well, lately I've been living in Fenmont. And before that, Leia would try to deliver it to me. But she tripped and dropped it for three years straight. Three years straight? What a waste! It, it wasn't on purpose! It's just the more I tried to be careful not to trip, the more I ended up tripping. <laughs> that does sound like something Leia would do. I'm really sorry. I only tried to deliver it because I wanted to see you happy. I know. Every year you were always the person who got the most excited about my birthday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
for my birthday this year, I hope we can all enjoy Chicken Laron together. I'll ask my dad to make it extra good. I greatly look forward to the occasion. As do I. It can't come soon enough. There he is. These must be the machines Dr. Mathis was hiding. Marna will be walking in no time with this. Wait, those are Spyrex. Soren, get away from those! Huh? But I need these. I said get away! It's dangerous! No way! I'm impressed you could anticipate that. I just remembered my old accident. That was how I got hurt when I was a kid. I was playing with the Spyrex in the docks room when it blew up, like that one did just now. That was how you got injured? Why did Dad have something so dangerous? Oh no. No way. It's not my place to tell you. You'll have to ask Derek yourself. You're the one who hid those Spyrexes in the old Vakal mine, aren't you? Why did you have them in the first place? Because I'm not from here. I came to Riza Maxia from Olympias 20 years ago. Derek was a passenger on the Zenithra, just like I was. After wandering throughout this world, I decided to settle down here after I met your mother. Then that would make me... Half Riza Maxian and half Olympian. You must be pretty shocked, huh? Actually... Not really. Hmm. Huh. Didn't see that reaction coming. Is a medical Aspirixis just a Spyrex then? They're similar, yet very different. Aspirixis are modified to channel the mana produced by one's mana lobe. They don't kill spirits, but as you know, there's a separate price to pay. Having to endure the physical pain. I only learned that Spyrexes kill spirits after I came to Rizamaxia. Once I knew the truth, I could no longer use Spyrexes in good conscience. But Dad, we found another option. If you create a Spyrite, you don't have to worry about Spyrexes killing spirits anymore. A Spyrite? I see. If Spyrites become commonplace, the downside of Spyrexes goes away. But for that to happen, Riza Maxia and Olympias will need to find common ground and work together. That will take a great deal of time and effort. Neither the pain of physical therapy nor the effort required for mutual understanding are easy to endure. There is always a cost required of any major undertaking. That much is true, no matter which world you're from. Yeah. I want to try physical therapy. I don't want Sorin running off and getting himself hurt because of me. That's great! Sorin, make sure to support her, okay? I know. Don't worry. I've got this. Leia, I'm so sorry. If I had only stored the Spyrex properly, you would never have been hurt. It's fine, really. If I hadn't gotten hurt, I would have never gotten to know Jude. Certainly not well enough to fill a hundred pages of notes about him. Mila! What are you talking about? Nothing! Never mind. That was just... girl talk.
Guess I better do something with Mom's house. And while I'm at it, I should see Isla, too. This is where your mother lived, isn't it? Yeah. You're back? Hey, Isla. I got your letter. So... Mom's dead. You already buried her? That's right. I'm so sorry. When I got here, she had already departed. Mom. Why did you do this? I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's actually a part of me that's kind of relieved now. Gonna scold me for that? A human life is a heavy thing. If you were carrying your mother's burden for her, it's only natural that you'd feel that way. <laughs> Never thought you'd be the one to console me. All right, enough of this. Isla, how did she really die? What? If you mean the cause of death, it was a sudden paroxysm of... You don't think it was the poison? Because my mother knew that you were mixing it into her food. What? Remember how she'd have those lucid moments? She told me about the poison in a letter. She lied. If she knew about it, why did she eat? Don't strain yourself. You never were a good liar. It's... it's you and that group of yours' fault for trapping me here. Wait, stop. Isla went to the Royal Hunting Grounds. Damn it. After her! Why did you poison Alvin's mother? <sighs> because she was holding her back. So long as Mom was alive, Isla could never get her happy ending. Exactly. I don't want anything more to do with Exodus. All I want to do is live a normal, happy life. I've worked so hard just to be able to do that. Did my mother suffer? Good. That's the one thing I was worried about. You're going to let her go? She killed your mother! Mom knew she wasn't long for this world. She told me so in her last letter. She asked me to set Isla free after she died. She knew? And she still... Yep. Even though it meant she'd never return to the home she loved so much. I... I don't believe you. You're just going to blackmail me again. I have to destroy all the evidence. I have to erase my former self. Or else I'll never be truly happy. Wait. Isla, stop. Uh, ah! Isla! How is she doing? Thanks to your first aid, her injuries have healed up nicely. But... Mommy... Why are you leaving me? Please don't sell me. I promise I won't complain about being hungry. Please... Mommy! How could this happen? 
Don't worry, Isla. I'm here. I'll always be here for you, whether you get better or not. Isla is lucky to have you. But it's so sad. Are you sure it's okay for us to stay here? I don't mind. She'll be safe here. They don't know about this place, but I'm taking the gun belt with me. It's been in my family for a long time. I promised my mom I'd take it home with me. Then I hope you find your way back home. It's the least I can do for her. She was a great mom. <laughs>